Hello guys, welcome to Daps Diary. I am Daps. I would love to share that thought with you today on how to start a business. I've received several questions from friends, from followers, from people asking me, Daps, how can I start a business? I've been this, I've been that, with so many questions here and there. And I thought it wise, why not share a video today to tell people exactly how to start a business? Understanding the fact that we live in a day, a time of uncertainty, risks are high, inflations are high, everything seems not conducive for you to start a business. For example, in my own country like Nigeria, we are in a recession. So how can you start a business even in a recession? What are the things you need to know? What are the things you need to do? What are the things you need to put in proper perspective before you can start a business of your own? Now let's start how to start a business. Before I give you the few tips to start your own business, let me tell you a story. Several years ago, one, two, three, four, whatever, I can't remember, but some years back I had a conversation with a friend. I was in school, I was in my final year studying business in school and I had a friend who been friends since elementary school days, several years back, we kept tabs with each other and she's done with school, she started business too and she was looking for a job and every opportunity to get one has been has been abortive. She's feeling so bad, she's felt frustrated and she feels how is life this cruel and and I wonder you went to school to study business administration. You should be administering a business, not looking for something to do. So I thought because I've always been told since I was in school that there are no jobs out there. I've heard several stories of Nigerian graduates not being employable. So I started doing business as far back as I was in my hundred level. I started learning how to do a trade, how to add this, how to buy and sell, how to do a lot of things. And I had to advise my friend instead of waiting to get a job, instead of waiting for that dream job, you want, why not create one? Why not start your business? And she asked me very amazing question you wanna guess she asked me how do i start a business to you it was a normal question for me i felt very offended i was so angry how can you ask me how to start a business come on you went to school you studied business so you should know how to start a business i was so angry i was so livid I made up my mind that I wasn't going to help her. I wasn't going to give her advice on how to start a business. It was so overwhelming. And this has given me a thought that several people I feel or I thought in my head should know how to start a business, do not even know how to start a business. That's how bad it is. If somebody who had gone to school to study business doesn't know how to start a business, it shows that we still have a long way to go. Here in this video today, I'll be sharing some tips and some fundamental things you need to know to start a business. Number one, I will tell you, if you want to start a business, the first thing you need to do is to look for a need. Look for a need. This need must be an idea and you must be able to convert this idea to an economic idea. That's the biggest part of starting a business as far as I'm concerned. I may not have a doctorate in business but my little years of studying business and doing business um, and my little study and understanding of business have made me know that the most difficult aspect of starting a business is getting the idea and making that idea economic it's so painful when i interact with youth or folks of my day and i ask them about their business or how to start a business and they start with there's no capital you know you're not going to get capital and i'm so worried about capital and i i wonder why people think about capital capital is not the first thing to worry about what you should worry about is how to look for a need how to get an idea that can meet a need and how you can convert that idea into something economical and a need you can meet not just a need but a need that you can meet 
that can give you something that can give you a reward but the truth is that there are so many needs out there there are so many things you can do that you will not struggle to do there are so many needs out there that you know you have a solution to that is what you should think about that is what you should bother yourself most about if you can get that get the need make it economical then i will tell you I have a business plan. You have this idea. Wow, fabulous idea. How I've discovered, for example, in my neighborhood, people need a traveling bag because people have been traveling lately and there are no bags. And I know somebody who produces a bag and needs people to sell. So why not start a bag business? Now, after you've gotten that idea so wonderful in your head, and you've been able to put an economic time to it. I know somebody who I can offer a good back to and is going to pay me a good amount or something quite reasonable. Then the next thing for you to do is to have a business plan. You, you just must draw a plan. Businesses will succeed. Businesses would be managed best when they have a plan. You need to know how many sales you need to make. You need to know how many employees you will need. You need to know the modus operandi. You need to know the pros and the cons of the business. You need to know where to get the bags from and what time you should get them. At the bottom of this video, I will drop a link to how you can get a template for a business plan. And you can just Google a business plan. You see several templates just for you to get a business plan. Step number two, I'll tell you, seek advice. This part is very important. I almost would have glossed over this, but I've come to know that I've come to identify with this time. I've come to identify with the importance of, of seeking advice. Because it just helps make the business smooth. It just makes everything easy for you. It helps you plan yourself. It gives you the precision you need going into the business. You need to look for somebody, a friend, a family who you can trust, who can give you an advice and the reason why you need to seek this advice is because it will help you it will help give you proper review of your business you want to do meet somebody who have done this kind of business before who have seemingly good experience somebody who have had several years of or somebody who have just somebody who have good or humble knowledge of the business you want to do or a business analyst, somebody who can help you review your business plan because your business plan must be properly reviewed to know that you have not done some overcasting, some undercasting, some ambiguous reality, you have not set some unattainable standards for yourself, you have not just overblew it somewhere. Now it takes me to the third step, which is where people, everybody want to start from, capital. Now you have a business plan. Now it has been reviewed and it is good to go. Now you need to seek your capital. You want to sell a bag to a targeted audience. You need to get money to buy those bags. You may not even need money. You can strike an, a deal. You can strike a deal with the buyer to pay, maybe on an installment basis, or maybe when you make your money, you drop this. So you need to know what it, that that's what the business plan would have been able to sort for you. But in case you need finance, you now need to know how to get the money. Now your business plan tells you how much you need, how much you will need on a continual basis to sustain the business, to set, to cater for your overhead cost, your fixed cost, or however the case would be. I'm surprised when my professor told me in school that every business must borrow. Wow, I was shocked. Borrow? Personally, I don't like borrowing. I try as much as possible personally to avoid borrowing. That cause gave me a paradigm shift because my professor was able to explain to me and to make me see exactly why some business borrow despite the fact that they have enough money to run a business or to finance a project. Because there are times that borrowing money will be more profitable for you than spending your money. I may not be able to go into those details. What I really want to bring out of this is that 
you may need you may need to borrow to start your business you may need to look for who can give you a loan you may need to meet your family and friends to buy into your idea give you a loan to start you may need to work more on your personal savings you need to know how to source for your money some way somehow once you've been able to come up with the idea and it's wonderful it's economic it's been reviewed you are so fired up with the business money to start or the finance to start this business is something that should be catered for you must be able to bootstrap the concept of bootstrapping is something i really want to emphasize you should learn to use what you have to get what you want okay this is what I encourage every business starting up. Employ the concept of bootstrapping. You just you can Google bootstrapping. It's a fabulous idea. You must be able to start your business with the least possible expense. You must be able to use what you have to get what you want. You must be able to get your business started with the least minimal expense. You must be able to meet family and friends that can help you. You must be able to make deals with your suppliers, with your business partners to help you limit your expense because you don't have all the money and I'm not advising you to spend all the money. Why not meet your supplier? I will pay you this amount of money once I make the first sale. I will do this once I get this done. You just must have to minimize your cost starting out. The concept of bootstrapping is so important starting on a business i think i'm going to shoot a video very soon about bootstrapping you should watch out for that video you will need to learn that starting a business fourth step i will advise you starting on the business to start small grow big start small grow big start small grow big it is normal for us to want to start something big it's normal for us to want to have a company want to have a big mighty edifice as an office we want to be like the alibaba we want to be like facebook we want to be like google we want to be we want to have a multinational we want to have all those big mighty company and someday we wish we could just be there and everything is so big but the truth is that we have to start small and grow big i would advise you if you want to start your business you need to learn to know how to start locally and have a global picture because if you really want to start globally you may never be able to start you may never have the funds required to start you may never have the expertise required to start you have to start as small as you can i remember starting out in school in my first year i wanted to start a business i wanted to just open a, an office somewhere and just have a good amount of money to start something of my own and do and get something reasonable from i remember meeting my mom to give me lend me some money to start some business or give me however just i just want to start a business i want to finance my business but my mom didn't trust me enough with her money as a young undergraduate trying to do business there was a day in church my pastor made mention about learning to start small and i was so motivated and i told myself with the little amount of money i have in my personal savings i am going to start business i started my business in my first year in school i started selling ties because i realized there was a need for ties in school so when i go to school i have my back on i have my package ties with cufflinks and pocket square there for people who needed ties we were business students so we did a lot of presentations and a lot of seminars and every group wants to wear a tie and want to be on their suit during their presentation so i sold some ties and made some small change that was how i started doing business I started doing that business knowing I had lots of business ideas in my head and that was the beginning of my business life far back as in my first year in school. So you want to start small, you want to start small with the little you have and I want to put this to you today that your ability to start very small shows that you believe in the dreams and the vision you have. The ability to start small, I would say it again shows that you believe so much in that vision and that business you want to do. If you are not willing to take the risk 
to start that business with the little you have, then you don't believe in that business. There are, there are so many things you have to put in place to start the business. These are primary and you can learn how to partner with people, you can learn how to do a lot of things doing business. But if you can put these four principles I have given you to start to measure, then you are good to start a business. Every other thing to do again is just to help you promote your business. Now find a niche that you want to focus on because your idea can be so vague but you want to make it a niche. How to make good use of technology. All those things are things that will help promote your business. For starting out a business, number one, you have to identify a need. You have to make that need an economic need. You want to make sure it's something you can do. You want to make sure it's something you enjoy doing. You want to make sure you seek advice after you've been able to get that idea. You've been able to draw your plan. Make sure that your expectations are right. They are not unachievable. They are just achievable dreams. They are just achievable plans using the SWOT analysis. I may not be able to guarantee that you get all the money you need to start the business. But I want to tell you the little you get the small you get as seemingly small it looks start start somewhere start it locally make it as local as possible but never stop having a global picture thank you so much for your time i hope i've been able to help you know how to start your business and in case you have a question you want to ask you probably have started a business and there are things that are challenged to you and you want to ask questions or maybe you want to add to my list of the things people need to know to start a business based on your observations and your experience doing business why not drop the comment below i'll read all your comments and above all subscribe to get more wonderful videos from me and finally you see a link below to my subscriber list these are people I give materials to on a weekly basis to help them start the business they want to start and to see that their business is a success. Thank you for your time and see you in my next video.